Reedy opening, King's Indian attack. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nf6, which advances the knight into the center. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, g3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. It is the last book move. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This misses a chance to build a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. A powerful play. It is quite good. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is good. This prevents the adversary from kicking a bishop. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. This misses a chance to build a queen beyond of its initial square. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That pawn's capture grants you material. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary to capture an outpost using a bishop. It is incorrect. The bishop is currently located at an outpost, a safe square within the opponent's domain. It is ideal. By attacking the enemy knight, this activates a piece while also buying time. That's good. This defends the attacked knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a vulnerable rook. It is an inaccuracy. By doing this, the chance to double rook on a single file is lost. It is incorrect. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. 
It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the 7th rank, activating it. That's good. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. This makes winning a rook possible. It is ideal. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This removes a queen that was threatening to win material. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It is incorrect. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. It's alright. That's good. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It's compelled. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. While not the greatest course of action, this is an intriguing alternative. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. This pins the opposing side's bishop to the king, rendering it immobile. A pinned bishop may feel more pressure as a result of this. It is ideal. This overlooks a better way to unpin a bishop, allowing it to provide defense. It is an inaccuracy. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. That's good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This raises a pawn to the rank of queen. It is ideal. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. That's good. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to promote a pawn to a rook. It is excellent. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is ideal. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only good move. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is brilliant. Very precise. It is best. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is ideal. By elevating it to the 7th rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is ideal. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. Black still holds the upper hand, but they are no longer in a position to win. It is incorrect. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is excellent. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. This stops the opponent from being able to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is best. This passes up the chance of advance a passed pawn through promotion. It is incorrect. This threatens to fork pieces. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. 
it is a miss. This makes it impossible for the adversary to fork parts. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. That's good. This avoids the knight's check. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. A wise decision. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This avoids the knight's check. It is quite good. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It's ideal. Giveaway, a gamer who had won decided to give it away. It was a really competitive game. The beginning struck a balance. Both players played fantastic middle game there. In the final round, both players were incredibly precise. The best choice is this one. It's ideal. Giveaway, a gamer who had won decided to give it away. It was a really competitive game. The beginning struck a balance. Both players played fantastic middle game there. In the final round, both players were incredibly precise.